Days ago, I looked up Cartoon Network reviews out of boredom and to scope out the competition, only to find my videos are among the first to pop up. The bad thing is I'm not too proud of my earlier videos or any new videos two minutes after I upload them, but it's exposure so I must divide and conquer. Soon the current children's cartoon review universe will be under my complete control. I shall dethrone this, Pie Guy rules, even if I do subscribe to him. Although I do not completely agree with his views on the regular show, but I respect his opinion. That is why I sent some people over to his house to rough him up. Let us begin expansion with Phineas and Ferv, although I like to call it Penis and Perv since I got a habit of replacing titles with dirty words in my mind while laughing to myself in public. It's really awkward while in a waiting room. The series revolves around these unfortunately misshapen kids doing something overblown or inventing stuff like a roller coaster or an Iron Man suit out of pure boredom to make the most out of their summer. Which, this show's been going on since 2007 and it's still summer to them so I'm very concerned about their education. I doubt these kids are licensed and bonded engineers so I fear an episode may come where a poor Samaritan gets incinerated at the hands of one of their contraptions. We can't even get a Spider-Man musical to work without a few casualties, no freaking way these kids haven't already killed a few dozen people. Although I can't wait till they grow up to assemble Project Mayhem. While this is going on, there's a recurring plotline where their sister Kansas tries to show the mom what they've been doing, but Phineas and Ferb manage to hide it, much like Michigan J. Frog from the Looney Tunes. The mother usually gets pissed about this thinking she's crazy, so I'm waiting for her to send that capital P-shaped girl to an asylum. I sort of get annoyed when they do this kind of thing every episode since you know they won't get caught. Some nights I wonder what they'll be up to in their college years. Ma, Phineas and Ferb are getting plastered at the world's largest tailgate party. So while all that's going on, there's another recurring plot with Perry the Platypus, which is the best part of the show. He's their pet and a secret agent since this agency does not discriminate against animals and illegal immigration was too expensive. Perry sent out on missions to thwart the incompetent Dr. Doofenshmirtz, only for Dolphin Shirts to make a complete ass out of himself. These three subplots have a funny way of connecting together. Every episode has a musical section which were forgettable to me. Then again, if I was younger, I'd know I'd absolutely love this music. The art style is very pointy. It's one of the easiest shows to draw. There's little triangles everywhere in the background. I like to pretend those little triangles are pieces of Phineas's soul. The show is sometimes so formulaic it annoys me, but I enjoy it. It kind of reminds me of Family Guy with the dialogue. I'd recommend watching this, but it's been on for so long so I ain't helping the cause. They rerun this show like every hour on Disney, and it's available on Netflix Instant Stream along with other Disney and Nick shows. Which, let me just say, I paused this show at the wrong time and I saw this. So in the last Titans video, commenters seem to be sad that they missed prom. Trust me people, I actually went to prom. All these movies and shows making it seem like a life-changing event overhyped this stuff. No one really cares about prom or anything in high school a year afterwards. It's a glorified dinner and dance which I refuse to do. All these kids on YouTube making massive prom proposals are total dorks. It's about as boring as graduation. It's about as boring as a senior representative making a crummy Windows Movie Maker slideshow with Comic Sans font of your graduation. If you're debating if you should go to prom or not, I guess so. That or invite your friends to Denny's for the same experience, minus the dancing and dressing up. Although don't feel disappointed if you miss out on it. Now I just gotta plug this guy named the Cap Max one since he amuses me with his vlog rants filled with some angry dark humor mostly about Toonami and 4Kids shows, so click on the description to watch that guy. In other news, Commander64, who I believe requires a rumble pack, informs me that Joel Silver, producer of movies such as The Matrix and Die Hard, is funding a theatrical Ben 10 movie. So let's all gather and pray that he'll actually fight Vilgax in this one and not a purple Mr. Freeze. Also, a Generator Rex movie would be nice, although there's this viral site that went up that I assume is for a straight-to-video Generator Rex film, so beggars can't be choosers. Next time, guys, I'll be looking into the first episode of Tanami's Rave Master. So be sure to tell me what you all think about Phineas and Ferb, since just like you all, I need other people to justify my opinion. See you all next time.